Here are some settlement concepts for your grade 12 exam. Settlement A settlement is a place where people live and build homes. It can be small like a village or large like a city, depending on its size and function. Informal settlements Informal settlements are areas where people build homes without proper planning or permission. They often lack basic services like water, electricity and sanitation. Informal sector The informal sector includes small unregistered businesses that operate without paying taxes or following formal rules. Examples include street vendors and car washes in cities. Dispersed rural settlements Dispersed rural settlements are scattered homes and farms spread far apart from each other. They are common in farming areas where people need large pieces of land. Nucleated rural settlements Nucleated rural settlements are groups of houses built close together, often around a road, water source or farmland. People live near each other for safety, services and social reasons. Centrifugal forces Centrifugal forces are factors that push people away from a city or area. Examples include high crime, unemployment, poor services or overcrowding. Centripetal forces Centripetal forces are factors that attract people to a city or area. Examples include job opportunities, good schools, healthcare and entertainment. Inner city The inner city is the central part of a city often with old buildings, businesses and dense population. It may face problems like congestion, poverty and crime. Dry point settlement A dry point settlement is a village or town built on higher ground safe from flooding. It is chosen for security, farming and access to water nearby. Central business district The CBD is the commercial and business center of a city with offices, shops, banks and transport hubs. It is usually densely built, busy and well connected. Bridging point A bridging point is a place where people can cross a river safely, often using a bridge, ford or shallow area. Settlements often develop around these points for trade and travel. Central place A central place is a town or city that provides goods and services to the surrounding area. People travel there for shopping, schools, hospitals and markets. Decentralization Decentralization is the movement of people, businesses or services away from the city centre to the suburbs or smaller towns. It helps reduce congestion and overcrowding in the CBD. Hierarchy of Settlements The hierarchy of settlements ranks settlements by size, population and services. For example, we have a hamlet, then we have a village, town, city and your metropolis. Basic Services Basic services are essential services that people need for daily life, such as water, electricity, sanitation and waste removal. They are especially important in rural and informal settlements. Wet Point Settlement A wet point settlement is a village or town built near a reliable water source like a river, spring or lake. It is chosen for drinking water, farming and daily use. Site Site is the exact location where a settlement is built. It considers physical features like elevation, soil, drainage and water availability. Situation Situation is the location of a settlement in relation to its surrounding features. It considers roads, rivers, other towns and resources helping explain why the settlement developed there. Rural depopulation Rural depopulation is the decline in population in rural areas as people move to cities for jobs, education and better services. It can lead to abandoned farms and villages. Rural Urban Migration Rural urban migration is the movement of people from the countryside to towns and cities. It is usually driven by jobs, education, healthcare and better living conditions. Urban Sprawl Urban sprawl is the unplanned 
and controlled growth of a city into surrounding rural areas. It often causes traffic congestion, loss of farmland and pressure on services. Urbanization Urbanization is the increase in the proportion of people living in towns and cities. It happens due to rural urban migration, industrial growth and better services. Unifunctional A unifunctional settlement is a town or city that serves mainly one purpose or function. Examples include mining towns, industrial towns or university towns. Threshold population Threshold population is the minimum number of people needed to support a service, business or facility. If the population is too low, the service may not be viable. Land redistribution Land redistribution is the process of giving land to people who do not have enough, often to promote farming and reduce inequality. It is an important part of South Africa's land reform programs. Land restitution Land restitution is the return of land to people or communities who were forcibly removed under past laws, especially during colonialism and apartheid. It aims to restore rights and compensate for past injustices. Urban renewal Urban renewal is the redevelopment and improvement of old or rundown urban areas. It often involves building new housing, roads and services to make the area safer and more attractive. Urban Profile An urban profile is a cross-sectional view of the city showing how land use, population density and building types change from the centre to the outskirts. Sphere of Influence The sphere of influence is the area around a town or city served by its services and businesses. People travel from surrounding areas to shop, work or access facilities in that center. Land use zones. Land use zones are different areas in a city designated for specific activities. Examples include residential, commercial, industrial and recreational zones. Land tenure reforms. Land tenure reforms are changes in the laws or rules governing land ownership and use. They aim to give people secure rights to land, reduce disputes and improve Agricultural Productivity Multifunctional A multifunctional settlement is a town or city that serves many purposes. It can have residential, commercial, industrial and recreational functions all in one place. Refugees Refugees are people who are forced to leave their country because of war, persecution or natural disasters. They often seek safety and shelter in another country. Sustainable Sustainable means using resources in a way that meets present needs without harming future generations. It applies to farming, water use, energy and urban development.